The research says that people want us to use our personal experience um, in preaching to a point, and that there is a line that we can cross, and of course the line is hard to find. Um, if we do, you know, if we if we struggle too much, if we reveal too much about our doubts, if we if we um, if we wade too di too too deeply into our personal sin, and if we do it too often, do any any personal reflection too often, um, there's like a, pe people don't want to hear it. I tend to think that the rule of thumb for me in personal re reflection is. Um, the brighter I shine the spotlight on me, the less light there is for Jesus. And so um, there's always, yes, I, people need to maybe use, you know, I need to offer my experience, um, but it's always to point to Christ. The truth of the matter is my life personally is not exciting enough where it warrants personal experience stories every week. Um, I tend to be a pastor, a teacher. More importantly than that, I am a husband and a father and my life is about caring for my students and getting the homework done and uh, supporting my wife as she goes to school and those kind of things. I don't get burning bush, you know, godly experiences all the time. And so if I'm going to talk about being a husband and a father, then I can do that based on my experience without ever mentioning me. And then what happens is people don't go, oh, we heard about pastor today, but boy, pastor must have been in our house this week because he knew what happened in our house this week and the stories I tell become their stories. So I guess I'm, I'm, I'm becoming less and less first person, for first person preachers I think about it.